Hey, what's up everyone? Good morning. It's nice, bright, not very bright out, but it's, it's definitely morning. And uh, <clears throat> I've had something that's been on my mind the past couple days. Um, it's Tuesday and on Sunday I heard heard a, a line, or a couple lines from from the youth pastor at church as he was giving the message to our, our high school kids. And, and he said that lies are told to control others while truth is told to allow you to control yourself. So when people lie to you, they're trying to control you. You know, for me, the biggest lies that I see are are told to kids because I work at a high school, and and that is that they're not good enough, they're not worthy of love, and, th and that's obviously those are lies. So as I as I got to thinking about that, I I was my mind went to to Genesis in, in the Bible and and really the first truths and the first lie in in chapters two and, and three so the first truth that was really ever told to, to man was was this um, you may surely eat of every tree of the garden but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die so God was telling man that you know, you can eat any fruit of the tree except for the tree of knowledge. Now, I think that's, I mean, that's it's the truth. Uh, but more importantly, you know, what it implies. It implies that the man has the choice. He has the choice to choose from every tree, even the tree of knowledge. But if he eats from the tree of knowledge, he will die. So he has the choice. It's his responsibility to eat or to not eat from which to choose choose which tree he wants to eat from so he has the choice it's his responsibility now if we look forward to the next chapter in chapter 3 of Genesis Satan or the serpent is talking to the woman and says but the serpent but the serpent said to the woman you will not surely die for God knows what or for God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened and you will be like God knowing good and evil so what is he saying he's saying you know God God's lying to you you will not you you're not gonna die you know God just wants just wants to he wants to control you but in reality in reality here it's Satan that is trying to control us and and he does it by getting the woman to eat from the tree tree of knowledge and she shares it with the man so that is Satan's way, or Satan was able to control us, to control a woman, and now he's controlling all of us. So we have to be careful as we listen to other people, as we listen to ourselves, that we don't listen to lies and don't start to believe lies. And they're, they're very subtle. They're just little subtle lies that we have to watch out for that can start to control us. They can start to control our minds. You know, all, all it takes is someone maybe a parent, maybe a coach, maybe a friend, maybe a brother or sister saying, you know, you're not good enough, you're dumb, you're not smart. All that takes is one little lie and people start to believe it and that's what they start to tell themselves and then everything else spirals down. So I encourage you to make sure you are being aware of what you're thinking. Oh, be aware of whether you're thinking about the lies that people tell you or the truth that God is telling you. And the truth is, you are worthy of love, you are good enough, you are smart, you have control of your life, you have control of your mind, so start thinking positive, start thinking that you are able, whatever you want in life is possible. For, for you know, God is, God is for you, He wants everything for you, so, as you move forward, remember, you are worthy of love. You are good enough. And God loves you.